Hey everyone, we are going to go over one of my new favorite uh, scraping tools. I basically fell in love with this tool as soon as I saw it and I'm going to show it to you right now. So this tool is called Zenrose and what I love about it is it can take any website that you want to scrape and it can scrape it uh, and then it'll structure the data for you. And so this is really, really awesome when you have programmatic SEO pages like Crunchbase, where I'm not logged in right now, but I get to see all of this information and I can just grab all of this information from the uh, what, the programmatic page and then I can bring it into my data that I wanna scrape. And so the first thing is you could just see that they have different modes for you available here. We know for a fact Crunchbase is using anti-scrape technology. So what we're going to do is we're going to put on AI anti-bot. Actually, we're going to AI anti-bot costs 25 credits. JS rendering, oh, still costs 25 credits. So we're going to just put AI uh, anti-bot on and we're going to put auto parse on. So basically, you know how if you go to a new uh, Crunchbase, like if you just go to crunchbase.com, oh, I guess it already saw me do this. Never mind. If you go to crunchbase.com, usually it'll have some kind of Cloudflare thing to make sure that you are a real person coming to it. And so this is going to take care of getting past that for you. And so we'll turn on the AI anti-bot. We'll hit try it. And so it's fetching data for us from Crunchbase. And then you're going to see all of the output data down here once it loads. And so now we have all of our output data here where we have everything here. Uh, Helen Tenor, board member at OpenAI. So this is some kind of board member information. Oh yeah, job type board member. And we just have everything from the page. So I think one thing from the page was like, let's see, let's see if we could get the headquarters, right? So we'll put headquarters, frequently asked uh, headquarters location, San Francisco, perfect. Another one we'll do is like competitors. Ooh, hmm. oh, uh, Crunchbase doesn't call it competitors. They call it similar. Org similarity list, covariant, AI, 21 labs, zero eyes, plotly, clear cogs. Never heard of these companies before, but I assume they're, they're similar to open AI. Oh, deep mind. Okay. And so now we could also get competitors super easy. And then I wonder if we can get revenue. No, we didn't get revenue raise let's do fundraise money raised okay so we could get fundraising information super quick so now instead of you paying for really really expensive fundraising apis you can just get the information here and so it's super super cheap i love it it's awesome so uh now your next question might be okay how am i going to use this at scale if i don't know how to code and i have the answer for you as well i set up a clay search where we just have the series defunded companies and then we normalize the url and then all we're doing here is just creating a google search because if you were to search site crunchbase.com and then the website you're going to get their their page and so that's precisely what i did here we just did site crunchbase.com and then the url and then we got the the web page over here now i will say that once you scrape it there's a lot to look through here and it's very very confusing so you can use the search bar to get around a little bit of what you're searching for so see we have the fundraise information over here that you're going to want um here's the description of the company i guess another thing you might want is like news right and so we'll put news in here oh i guess we didn't get news from crunchbase exit summary let's check this wenge group i guess there's some kind of exit there as well so i i will not shy away and say that hey this is really really easy to parse through you're going to read this data and see what comes back so I just showed a little bit about the competitor information. So we could get the similar companies here. So let's let that load. Yep. And so we have the org similarity list and then the score and then the description, which it's not formatting very well for some reason. And so all of that comes in here. And so we have the competitors to these companies right here. And then this is the most recent funding round that they did. And then this was the lead investor that we got from Crunchbase. So it is possible. You just have to like sift through and sort through what you're looking at. But uh, Zenrose is definitely one of my new favorite tools. And I wanted to tell you all about it. Uh, I've successfully used this on... Let's see, Owler.com, I've successfully used it on. I've used it on SEMrush. I've used it on similar web. Yep, I've used it on similar web. I'm trying to think of other. I've used it on Zillow. I've used it to scrape like shopping pages from like Walmart. Um, 
Yeah, I've used it to scrape a lot of things. I'm trying to think of any other ones. I've used it to scrape craft.co as well. It's a really, really nice scraper and it brings back the data really well. And it also, uh, you know, you don't need to set up proxies and everything. So it's a lot of fun. So thanks for watching the video and I hope you enjoy.